Welcome to Helena, Montana, Hockey Night in Helena, where tonight's preseason contest in the DJ Automotive Tournament will be the Helena Bighorns against the Glacier Nationals. We're just uh, getting ready for both teams to enter the ice. The officials have come on board. We're going to be testing the ice out for the first time this year here in Helena after some of the compressor problems that we've had here at the arena have prevented us playing here, but... We're looking for a great night of hockey, and we're looking uh, forward to a great season. It's good to be back. Thank the folks of Butte, Montana, who uh, graciously have opened up their facility along with the um, the Missoula rink. Today, there were two games played in Missoula. There's one going on right now in Butte, and then of course the Bighorn a national game here, and we'll try to bring you up to date on some of those scores. Here come the Bighorns. Watching them skate on the ice, they did not Zamboni. They had a short warm-up period here at the arena. They did not resurface the ice between the warm-up and this first period, I think, with the hopes that it takes a little bit longer for the water to freeze, so they're hoping that they will not have any problems this first period. So we'll see how, see how both teams react to the uh, soft ice conditions. We'll give you lineups as soon as I have them. With this preseason tournament, I don't normally get the lineup sheets like I do during the re regular season. Wherever you're watching tonight, we want to thank you for tuning in on the AWHL Hockey Network. You can catch all the Bighorn action as well as the other teams in the AWHL by clicking on AWHL.com and following the connections. Both teams being introduced here. I believe we will have a ceremonial drop of the first puck in the national anthem very shortly, and we'll bring you up to date on that. Bighorns have had a good tournament so far, uh, winning their first two games, in fact, yesterday quite handily, 15-3. Uh, to three. We're going to pause as, as we have our national anthem. Beautiful rendition of our national anthem to get us started off tonight. For the Bighorns, their starting line will consist of Theo Camp, number two, the forward out of Fairbrook, California. Also on the line with him, number 11, Ben Henney, and those two together are going to be an awesome front line. 
22, Inak Okada, the defenseman, 5'8", out of Westchester, Ohio. Uh, number 23, Dylan Webster, a forward out of Cedar Park, Texas. Number 29, John Peterson, a defenseman out of Sweden. In goal, we have uh, Justin Dilla Filipino. That's what's listed, although he's not listed as a goaltender. I think actually it's Alex Lazarski, and I think our information is wrong. So Lazarski in goal for Helena. We'll bring you up to date on the Nationals here shortly, and we're off to hockey. Helena controlling in the neutral zone. There's a dump in, something that they're very good at. The dump and chase, they're very fast on the four check. Trying to control his camp. He's there along with Webster. Webster and camp working against the Nationals. Spooner for the Nationals trying to clear. He finally gets the puck and does not get it out. A great job by John Peterson. Puck in front, and the Nationals do send it down the ice. That's going to be icing. Goaltender. For the Nationals, number 30, Dylan Caffrey, 6'1", 170-pounder out of Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Again, just early in the first period, 1916 remaining. No score. Belling to take this for Helena. Stump back from the point. D. Hansen has it in the corner, working very hard there. Back out to the point. There's a shot that's deflected, and that goes up, and into the netting, we'll have a face-off. It will be deep in the national zone. They have Redmond, Jones, and a player not on the roster, number five. I apologize. With some of the players fighting for roster spots, they don't have them all listed. I'll do my best to call them out as I get them. Jacob Olter. With a nice attempt there. He's behind the net. Walter housing at the Bradford family. He, we've enjoyed having Jacob. And there he is working hard by the side of the net. Puck coming out. Walter tries to pinch in. It comes to the point, but the Bighorns do keep it in. Here comes Walter look, working behind. Trying to freeze the puck. Not able to do so. And here come the Nationals. Bringing up his Redmen. Now they're switching off. They're going to come off. For a limited change, as Paul Kinder was doing the four checking, Kinder collides with his own teammate at center ice, not able to control that. The big horns are going to take it to the blue line. Big hit across the way. Kinder working hard in the corner. He's against Logan Henney. Ben Henney on the team last year for the big horns. Logan joining this year. Nationals trying to get it out. Givens sends it up the near boards. Bighorns retreating. That was Kevin Choi sending it up to center ice. And now into the far corner. That's Parker Olsen. Olsen is there along with Ben Henney. Back out to the points. Centered across. The Nationals are there. And now they're going to move it up. Tucker Spooner. Just gets it across the red line, dumps in. There's a change behind the play, and now the Bighorns are going to chase two. They're sending Jesse Game out on the four check. Keep it in. Game is going to chase this one behind the net. He's there against Joe Dixon. There's a shot from the point. A nice stick save up in the air, and Dylan Caffrey diving for it, snags it with his glove. We'll have a stoppage of play with 17-14. Remaining in the first period. No score. Shout out to the game family. Jesse's dad here at the uh, arena tonight. I know mom's at home watching. And just wanted to make sure that uh, you're having a good broadcast. I will have limited email access, but you can uh, get us at bighornslive at gmail.com. That's bighornslive at gmail.com, and I'll try to at least between periods, pick up some of the messages. The icing called on the Nationals. This will come back to their end. 
Zarski hasn't faced anything so far in this game. Caffrey, one good opportunity. Nationals on the faceoff, bringing it out. Going to give it up at the blue line, but just send it right back in. A delayed offside call. Okada. Dangerous pass across the zone. Didn't get a lot out of it. Now Jones steals it. Sends it in, and a wise cover up there by Lazarski. Lazarski, 5'9", 165 pounds out of North Bend, Washington. In goal tonight. For the Bighorns, they have three goalies on the roster right now. Likely they'll probably keep two. So every shot, every minute out there to show what you got is very important. Nationals doing a good job there at the blue line, trying to pinch things in and keep it deep in the defensive zone for Helena. Walter back around. Henny not able to come up with that. Excuse me, that was Theo Camp. Good check on the play. Stick those loose here. 21 green coming around, or Givens, excuse me, that's Givens. There's a stick laying on the ice at center ice. Let's hope that doesn't impede some of the players, and here come the Bighorns. Kenny brings it up, head of steam, checked off there. Quick shot right into the midsection of the goalie, and a rebound poked at by several of the Bighorns, including Theo Camp. And let's see who else is there. And that was Dylan Webster, the other forward out of Cedar Park, Texas. Buck came loose a little bit from Caffrey. The Bighorns there slapping at it. No harm done. Belling to take this for the Bighorns on the faceoff. Brandon Vitale sends this out of the zone, but the Bighorns are going to retreat and control this. Now coming up, D. Hansen. He's got ahead of seam. Jacob Holter. With the shot, couldn't quite get it on goal. Walter with a good opportunity there. Hansen working hard. Walter looking to take this. He's not able to catch up with that. Walter took a big hit in the first game of this preseason. And uh, I know at home he was icing that. He had a big knot in his thigh. So seems to be skating all right, Mom. Big Orange trying to set this up. Behind the net. That's Logan Hawgood. Taking his time. Here he comes. Bringing it out for D. Hansen. It's a bouncing puck. Couldn't handle it. Ice is a little soft here. Off for Choi. Choi brings it up. And they're not able to get anything with that with Belling. Again, here at the ice. Here comes Logan Henny. Logan. Got a man there. Just high. And that was tipped. And we'll see where they're going to put this. So Henny with a good opportunity there, just over the crossbar. 14-33 remaining in this game. Uh, no score yet. Jones, Kinder, Vitali are out there for the Nationals. I'll try to call out some of the other players as I get their numbers. Eric Rosencrans out there. Playing a forward position also. Joe Dixon chasing this for the Nationals. Sends it back over to the other side. Parker Olson is there for Helena. Working hard to get that puck out. He does. It comes back to Wyatt Winfield. Winfield sends it down deep. Pinched in well there by number 29, John Peterson. Peterson, one of the Swedish players on the big orange tees. There's Wyatt Winfield back over. For Logan Henney, Henney working hard down low there. And finally coming out with it is Vitali. He sent it down. There's going to be no icing. That's waved off. Nationals changing behind the play with only one four checker. Now the Bighorns chip in, and they're going to change. Game coming out here on the four check for the Bighorns. He's now joined up by Nick Mannery, who had a wonderful game last game in that 15-goal onslaught. A Bozeman last night. So out of play here. We're going to have a face-off. They're going to send it right outside the blue line. 
We hope you're enjoying the action. Tell us how we're doing. Big Orange Live at gmail.com. And there's a penalty coming up as we're back to action. We'll see. There was a lot of pushing and shoving going on. I think this might be a cross check. The Nationals are going to get this penalty. Travis Redman, the defenseman, he's out of Vancouver, Washington, heading to the penalty box for two minutes. Henny Sisters, we're glad uh, you're on board with us listening to this broadcast. It's good to be back in preseason action. Thank you for the email. Appreciate the encouragement. Face off deep in the national zone power play for the Bighorns. Out to the point. Nelson couldn't quite hang on to it here, so we'll have to retreat. This is Joss Maltz. Maltz bringing it across, loses an edge. I expect to see a little bit of that during this with the uneven ice. Nationals doing a good job of stealing that puck and clearing. Paul Kinder, the forward out of Dearborn, Michigan. Getting that out of there. Helena not able to generate much now. Here's an opportunity right into the chest of the goalie was that shot by Josh Maltz. So Caffrey's come up big on the several shots that he's faced here. 12.35 remaining first period, no score. A minute eight on the power play. Shift in down low is Kevin Choi. Choi now circling around. He's going to come out to his defense position. This is Ben Henney. Back over the, to the top. Choi's down low here. Now out to John Peterson. Henney with a shot. That's just why. Didn't make it on net. Back out to Henney at the point. Looking in. That's tipped. Oh, that just missed the post on the far side. Choi. Looking to pass, gets it back outside to Hoggett. Hoggett, we in, and there's a good, another good opportunity missed on. Hoggett now. Back at the top, down to Choi. Choi looking for somebody to pass to. 20 seconds remaining on this power play for the Bighorns. Hoggett, oh, and it's tipped aside. Good save. We've got a missing helmet here, and we got a player going to have to come off the ice. He's out of the zone. They're going to play on. Puck again, shift. He's being replaced by Camp. Camp comes on to replace the player. I believe is lost the helmet. He had to come out of the play. Defense now changing up here for Helena. Helena doing a good job now with Dylan Webster fighting there behind the net. Control the puck out, out center. There's a fan by Camp. He just couldn't quite get sick on it. And there's going to be an interference call coming up here. The check into the board was okay, but the holding on to the stick is what's going to be called here. It's going to be, I believe, an interference call. He's going to get holding, actually. John Peterson, the defenseman, 6'2", 175 pounds from Sweden. Go to the box two minutes. So just as the power play is ending, for the Bighorns, the National are going to get their opportunity here. Givens to take this draw deep in the hell in the zone. He's against Ben Henney. There's a shot. Oh, just over the crossbar. That crossed the goalie, Lazarski, up a little bit there. And Helena able to chase. And Ben Henney's going to beat everyone back. Vitaly taking this back over to his teammate, Redmond. Back over to Vitaly. For Watney, excuse me, that's Watney. And now Vitaly on the near side. Apologize for the miscall there. Good four checking. Not letting the Nationals come out. Now there's an opportunity. Henny's going to take this out. He's got a partner. That's Theo Camp. Camp sends it just back out to the defense, who's going to retreat on this. And it's going to be Okada. Okada. Sends it right back for his teammate, Nelson. Nelson shooting this down toward the goal. And the goaltender going to have to play this outside. Camp chasing this. Not going to get to it. The Nationals going to be able to play it out of their zone. But Camp, good poke check there from behind. They get it down. There's Henny. 
They're tired. They're coming off of the change. 45 seconds remaining on the penalty. So the Nationals not generating much pressure here. Good job on the penalty kill. Here they've come. Crossing the line. Shot in deep. That's behind the net. Down low. Now back out to the point. Joe Dixon. Dixon down low. Loose puck. Good positioning there by the goaltender Lazarski on that attempt. Didn't have a lot of steam on it, but he had to be in good position to stop it. Now coming back out. Vitaly sends this one down deep. It's well wider than that. Helena's just going to get this out. D. Hansen chasing with Vitaly. The goaltender Caffney sends this one out. Givens just chipping in from the red line. And the penalty's over. Teams at full strength. Helena trying to get it up. D. Hansen trying to get by his man. Wasn't able to. He's going to come off on a change. All the way back. Devin Smith chasing this for Helena. 8.33 remaining. In the period. No score. Each team with a power play chance. And nobody's connected. There's a long shot in on goal. Let's stick to side. Another bad angle shot. Bouncing puck. Now that one sent in from a very sharp angle. And I believe it was Logan Henney who sent that one in. We got an announcement and a timeout. Media timeout. With 8.19 remaining. So, good first period action. No score, but a lot of up and in, up and down the both ends of the ice here by both teams. Again, we're glad you're watching the AWHL Network. If you've got a message to send us, it's bighornslive at gmail.com. Not a big crowd here tonight, but we weren't expecting many people with the changes in venue back and forth. It's amazing that we have this many people here. Again, uh, this DJ Automotive. And again, if you're in Helena and you have automotive needs, go to G DJ Automotive. They're a great sponsor of this tournament and of Helena Bighorn Hockey. So we encourage you to patronize them. Wyatt Winfield to take this. For Helena. Back to the point. Peterson drives that in, and that's wide. And there's a penalty coming up. They're going to pull the goalie. Here comes the goalie, and they're not going to get him off the ice in time. Delayed call coming there. It's going to be hooking. So a two-minute hooking call. We'll see who's going to get this. Number 20, Bill Boberg, a defenseman out of Littleton, Colorado, heading to the penalty box. Two minutes for hooking power play for the Bighorns at 8.07. And a little delayed whistle. They're going to uh, Spooner now coming in. They were asking the national player to leave, so Spooner, number 15, will take this. He's out of Vancouver, Washington. Loose puck in front. Wyatt winding up there. Excuse me, that was Ben Henney, number 11. Opportunity we got. A defender stick in the way. Henney directing traffic back out of the point. Peterson with a little shot redirected just wide. And Theo Camp chasing that, but this is going to go all the way down. So a good opportunity there on the redirect. Peterson chasing this down in his own end, and here come the big horns. This one chipped in. It's going to come all the way around. This time it's Nick Okada. Okada just dumps this in. He's got Theo Camp down low. Camp over to Ben Henney. Henney just out to Peterson. The ice a little slow. I talked to the players earlier today. They said it's not as bad as it could be, but it is a little slow. So speed might be a problem. There's a quick shot. And Caffrey's there. That shot coming low. 
to the stick side, and he's able to get his leg on it, his leg pad, and block that out. Face off. Caffrey's stick side. Won by the Nationals, and they're going to get this one all the way down. Lazarski just plays this back for his defenseman. That's Kevin Choi. This one heading over to the side. A Axelson. Oh, and a, that went off the shoulder. And another rebound off the shoulder also. So two good opportunities. First by Axelson. And the second one by Jacob Walter. Walter getting a good rebound opportunity. This one, Axelson. Coming in again, over, and he had a man open. Walter has this. Looking to send it in, sends it back to the point. Choi, back down to Walter, working the near side. Sends it back to the Coulter. Axelson, lo player losing a stick. This one, not out. Choi saves it. And finally, the Glacier forward able to stick that one out. I don't have number five's name, otherwise I'd be calling it, but a good play by him to get it out of the zone. Walter takes a big hit over there along the side. Looks like they're trying to target him a little bit. He's been skating, and like I said, took a big hit in that first game. He's been a little sore, but his skating's all right. Coming up the near boards. They're going to get it across the zone behind the play. They're doing a change. Here comes Wyatt Winfield. Had a head of steam, but they couldn't quite get it. Delayed offside here, forcing Helena to come out. 5.24 remaining. This is going to be an icing call. The Nationals sending this down. And at 5.14, we'll have a face-off down in the national zone. Sandra, great to hear from you. Big hello from California. Thank you for tuning in. We're glad you're with us again. Thank you for the kudos. Big horns behind the nets. Working hard here. They've dominated a vast majority of the game, but no nothing to show for it on the scoreboard. And Rumble to chase this one down. Rumble out of Kent, Washington. Again, this tournament, the whole idea is to get a little early season action and get some guys showcasing their talent here. A couple cuts coming on most of these teams, so it's important these guys skate well and get some playing time. Devin Smith bringing it up. This is coming up. Far side, there's a long shot that's blocked out front. That was by Josh Maltz. There's this long shot blocker. Just the goalie just sending that away to, with the blocker. No harm done. And in hard here is Dylan Webster. Webster puts a hit on his man in the corner. Trying to keep the puck in there. Is not successful. And here come the Nationals. They dump in. They had a man on the far side. And there's a penalty coming. That's head contact. Let's see what's going to happen here. And Dylan Webster is going to get this penalty, the forward out of Cedar Park, Texas, for Helena. So they have 29 on the board, but it is 23, and finally they changed that on the scoreboard. So Webster, two minutes for head contact at 404, so a power play for the Nationals. Saving it up, going out. There's a big drive and knocked down well by John Peterson there. Scramble. Peterson took one right in the back. And I don't know if you really want to turn your back. The shots I've taken playing hockey, you don't want to do that. Two on one. Score! Theo Camp with the shorthanded goal. Camp. Of course, on the team last year, 59170 out of Failbrook, California. Good to see him get on the board, and what a nice feed. 
from his partner, Ben Henney. Henney family out of Fairbanks, Alaska. We have several players, including Jacob Walter from Fairbanks. And good to see them getting the action. Little tie up at center ice there. Several sticks have gone flying here in the early going. Power play still in effect for a minute 26 here. 3.26 remaining <laughs> on the game clock. And this is just sent down to the Nationals defensive zone where they'll regroup. Joe Dixon sending this up the ice. Had Wade there. Wade just circling around looking for his teammates. Little early season mistiming there. Jay Johnstone takes this on the near side. And he gives it up for Jackson Schroeder. Schroeder over to Watney. Watney sends this one toward the goal, and Lazarski decides to cover up. He had a couple of defensemen there, but one of the national players, I believe that was Paul Kinder, the forward out of Dearborn, Michigan, coming in, so decided to freeze the puck. Face off to Mr. Lazarski. Stick side here as we resume play. Winfield, they're trying to prevent the pass from the inside, working the near boards, and a good job that time by Kevin Choi to get this one out. Kevin, one of the taller players for Helena. Nationals just not getting anything going on this power play. 15 seconds now remaining on the power play. Helena's going to take some time off the clock. This one, a turnover there at center ice. Vitali sends one in. That's sicked aside. And Helena now sending it all the way down the other end. Two seconds remaining, and the power play is over. So Helena not only kills the penalty, but gets a goal. Pass up and down now here as they're working. A good opportunity there as Logan Henney sent that right for Parker Olsen in the middle, but couldn't quite get it on goal. And Lazarski now just going to cover that one up. A little pushing going on here. A couple players, both of them are going to the box now. It's going to be Jake Nelson, I believe, out of Helena for Helena. And he's going to go. I thought they were going to send two, but apparently not. So another power play for the Nationals. Apparently got a little aggressive on the clear out there to the right of the goaltender. So with 145 remaining in the period, two-minute roughing penalty. There's a shot blocked down there by Nick Okada right in front of the goal. This one's wide and has to be chased down on the near boards. Now back out to the point. Nationals trying to work it. That's Vitale working it across. Over to 25. That's Joe Dixon who shot in, but it didn't reach the net as it was blocked by the defenseman. Dixon now scrambling with Theo Camp over on the far boards. Camp doing a good job. Just keeping there there. Dixon skate. Kicking him with a skate or kicking at the puck with the skate. Trying to get a dislodged. A man in front. But the Nationals not able to do anything with it. Drag down, play on, back out to Vitale. He just sends it back down low, and a big hit of, was taken there on Spooner, who sends it in after regaining his skates. 52 seconds remaining in the period. And Helena just going to send this one down. They're going to do a full change, four players here. And we've got Jacob Wolter on the four check. Wolter. Is up there along with the other forward. This being Belling out of Des Moines, Iowa. Kinder with a shot. That's a good save there by Lazarski. And Helena just clearing. Walter trying to get down the ice on the four check. And doing a good job of not letting get any rushes up the ice here by the Nationals. Walter skating hard. This 
Johnson coming down in, and that'll do it for the first period. So the Bighorns get on a on the board early with a goal and lead this hockey game one to nothing. There will be 16 seconds remaining in the power play when we start the second period. We want to encourage you not to turn off your browsers. We'll keep the camera rolling here. With about three minutes remaining in the intermission, we'll be shutting the camera off. It'll be off for about 10 seconds, and then it'll come back on. So please remain with us. You're watching AWHL Hockey with the score. The Bighorns won, and the Glacier Nationals nothing.